Mary wants the fraction of pink blocks in model B to be equivalent to the fraction of pink blocks in model A. How many blocks in model B need to be pink in order to make that happen? So let's look at model A. So how many equal sections are there? There's one, two, three, four, five equal sections. There are five equal sections. And what fraction of them are pink? Well, you have one of them is pink. One of the one of the blocks is pink. So one fifth of one fifth of the blocks over here in model A is pink. Now we have to think about how to make one fifth pink right over here. So let's think about it. So how many, first of all, total blocks are there? There's one, two, three, let me actually do this another, another color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There are twenty there are 20 total blocks here. And you see that this is the exact same length. Model B is the exact same length as model A. And so for every block that you have in model A, for every block here, in order, you must have four in model B. Because we went from five sections to 20. So we're essentially multiplying by four. And you even see it here. If we were to just draw a line right down here, you see that for every block in model A, you have one, two, three, four blocks in model B. So one block in model A that is pink would be the same thing as four blocks in model B. We would literally just multiply this times four. So four of the 20 will need to be made pink. So one, two, three, four. And you see that it exactly matches up. This is the exact same fraction of the entire of the entire model over here. So when they say how many blocks in model B need to be pink to make that happen, it would be 4.